You very rarely seen. Camp Adventures. The mystery man. <laughs> who's chugging water before he heads off to partners. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you sound like right now. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, we're we're fixing things. I don't really know how, but he's just gonna go out to partners. Yep. That means it's gonna be you and me alone here tonight. No, no. You got Jack. I think <laughs> That's right, I do have Ice Age 4, Continental Crypt. We're gonna watch that tonight. I don't like Ice Age. He does too. He does too, he just won't say it. No, no, you don't get it. When you watch it with your knees 16 times in a row in one day, you don't like it anymore. I can quote the whole movie. Front and back. It's gonna be an interesting day today. This is how today is going to go. <laughs> Just to let you all know. It's going to be one of those days. And this is how we get Mel out of the pool. Such a process. <laughs> Josh, did you break it? <laughs> Where's the key? <laughs> she is not moving. Well, it's coming up. It's coming up as he's pulling it. <laughs> no. The water's still on. Uh, you're not going to get over the thing just yet. You have to, he has to keep pulling you up. That was uh, rather scary. So right now I'm just chilling in the car waiting for them to get changed, well for Mel to get changed and get out here. And then uh, we're going to head back home and then I got to quick eat a little bit of lunch and then head off to my dentist appointment. Fun. But, uh, it's got to be done. We got, you know, my filling that I lost umpteen months ago. It needs to get filled. I got to do that and other things I can't remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just the just the fillings. I've got 
that cavity that I lost the filling in and then another cavity that needs to be filled. And then at 3 o'clock, Mel has her an appointment with her social worker. We need to fight for shit. Um, we did find out uh, this morning that we were told that we were trying to get shared care, which is basically a PCA getting clocked for working with both of us at the same time. And we were told that shared care can't be for things in the home. It could only be for things outside of the home. Well, we were just given documentation that says, no, it can be in the home. So, we're going to fight for that. Because we want it for things like housekeeping and laundry. Because that just makes our lives easier. And, you know, we feel really feel like we're being punished because we're not living alone and we're not living in subsidy. We're actually living together, a group of people that, you know, all have disabilities and we're not in a group home. And so, you know, the state and county don't like it. So it seems like they're punishing us, but they're in for one hell of a fight with us. That's for damn sure. Well, that wasn't so bad. Uh, it was actually a little different. I thought they that both the cavities I had were on this side, but no, I got one down here and had one up here, and they did the one up here uh, today. So, uh, unfortunately, they only did the one, and I had to reschedule for the other one because I canceled that appointment on Monday because I got the cortisone shot in my shoulder and it was really starting to ache. There was no way I was going to make it. I was in too much pain from that. So, yeah, February and back on the cancellation list. So, now I got to head back home and it's time for Mel's meeting. Fun. We just had the mother of all fucking interesting encounters <laughs> with this guy. So it's it's just after nine. The guy was supposed to show up here at seven, at seven o'clock. Following a GPS. <laughs> I think uh, you finally called him around eight. Yep. And where was he when you talked to him? At seven thirty he was twenty five miles out. Okay, I'm talking when you talk to him, and then I, uh... Oh, that was eight, and he yeah. was a quarter of a mile away. <laughs> yeah, but when you called him, where exactly was he? He didn't tell me. Okay. Well, wherever the hell this guy started out at, I think he was by Happy Dan's. <laughs> and then, for whatever well, he reason... He said some car lot. He turned into some car lot on Bell Street. Yeah, I don't know where the heck that is. <laughs> but... <laughs> He gets himself, somehow he ends up back on Madison. And I'm like, okay, if you're on Madison, you need to go until you find Victory Drive. And you need to go turn on South Victory Drive. Whether that's a right or a left, I don't know because I don't know what's where you are on Madison. And he's like, alright, okay, now I, I'm by a Walgreens. I'm like, alright, what side of the road is the Walgreens on? Oh, I'm right next to it. I'm like, okay, if you're right next to it, you need to turn around and go the opposite way on Madison. You're going the wrong way. Okay, and he does that. It takes forever. And I'm like, all right, you'll be turning right onto Victory Drive. It's a big intersection. <laughs> it is a huge intersection because it's the meet of two, the intersection of two four-lane roads. So, you don't get a job, he that. goes through that, and he's like, all right, now I'm by all these. And I'm like, okay. And I say, okay, what side is this, the Aldi's on from you? And he's like, oh, it's on my side. And I'm like, it's on the driver's <laughs> side? Like, my side, what does that mean? And he's like, oh, it's on my side of the road. Oh, you mean to your right? <laughs> he said, yeah. Like, you're going the wrong way. You went too far. 
I'm like, okay, and he turns around, and I'm like, okay, now you need to turn left onto Victory Drive. When you see Victory Drive, turn left. <laughs> Go through Victory again, and he's like, oh, I'm by Walgreens again. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, oh, I got to take a right here, right? I'm like, I don't know. You just got to get turned around so you're on Victory. And he turns off, and he... He then gets by. Well, no, he got back by the ball field out there, the baseball field out by the Walgreens, uh, where wherever, whoever. The Moondogs place. Yeah, the Moon Dogs. I couldn't remember what they were called. And so then he's driving around. And he's like, "Oh, I found Victory Drive," and I'm like, "All right, cool. Uh, you probably got to turn right on there." The dumbass turns left. <laughs> and he's just going, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I, there's a quick trip out here, and then I'm like, oh, my, at this time, because he said he turned right, but obviously he turned left, because he was right um, at he Madison East. Side street. Right, he took that new side street. Yeah. He should have taken right, right? Yeah, and he went left. He's like, oh, I'm by quick trip now. I'm like, oh my god, he turned back off on Madison. Oh my god, I wanted to scream at this guy. I'm like, you were on the right road and you turned off. But no. And then he's like, oh, I buy Home Depot. And I'm like, oh my god, you went the wrong flipping way. So then I'm like, okay, you got to turn around, go the opposite way on Victory Drive. And he turns around and I'm on the phone with him this whole time. And I just want to reach to the phone and strangle this guy. And he's like, okay, I'm at Madison. You know, there's Cherry Berry to my left and whatever to my right. I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, go straight. Just go straight. I'm like, okay, go straight. I'm like, okay, now I'm stopped at uh, Madison East. I'm like, or Ma East Main. Okay. East Main. I'm like, okay, good. Go straight yet. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, oh, there's Happy Dance. I'm like, yeah, go straight. <laughs> I was like, oh, now I'm stopped at some stupid street called, like, Boulder's Act. Or what, however that street is pronounced. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, you're in the right area. Keep going straight. <laughs> He's like, go straight. I'm like, oh, there's the church. I'm like, yep. Now you got to turn turn left just past the church. I'm like, all right, there we go. And he turns, oh, Cedar Meadows. Turns in. And he pulls into the parking lot that's just out the window here. Uh-huh. I'm like, no, I can see where you are. You're in the wrong parking lot. You got to go around that building. I'm gonna run outside and direct you. You know, big guy in a wheelchair can't miss me. So when I go out there, and actually on the way here, this guy's trailer. Oh yeah, this is why I had the text exchange with him and his wife. The trailer, because of the wind and shit, like it blew off. Like the box of the trailer blew off. Oh my god. So he had to stop and fix that. That's the main one main reason why he was late. And so we understand that. Right. It's windier than hell outside. Yeah, so And he has his kids with him. Yeah. Two kids in the car. There's more than And he actually said, you know, thank God they were asleep or this would have been, would really suck. You know, driving around. And so then the guy pulls in here and he pulls back here and he gets out and he comes up. This guy could not look more like a stoner. <laughs> Spiky hair and like spiky as in I didn't brush it or shower. Yeah, like really spiky, thin hair, really, really old guy. And he said, Oh, I just got done working overtime. I haven't worked a job in 25 years. <laughs> Major League Stoner. <laughs> Could not have looked more like a stoner. <laughs> and, yes. And According to Mel, this guy, their, his, wife, his told wife, told her that they're getting this love seat and they're actually getting a couch from somebody else in Mankato tonight. But he's got a buddy there, so his buddy can <laughs> flip and handle getting him. He's like, yeah, I used to come to Mankato all the time back when I was younger, back in the 80s. It's kind of changed a lot <laughs> since then. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, this time, this part of time did not exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All parts did not exist. Yeah. So, 
So yeah, I was told. Yeah, that she was told that the reason they wanted this love seat is for their son to get an apartment. So they wanted this for his apartment. Okay. This guy on the phone tells me the reason why they needed it is because his six-year-old son has a problem with wetting the bed at night. And, like, has ruined his bed and he's ruined their couch and love seat. So they need these to replace them. I kind of believe this guy compared to the lady you talked to because... I could see that story being a cover story because they don't want to admit that their kid wets the bed. I could see that too. So and that you has not known that she told you that. Yeah. Because it's kind of embarrassing. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but you don't know how bad this was. This. So that's been our night so far. <laughs> and now I'm going to put the camera down because my arm really hurts. <laughs> Camp Adventures, making our way one push at a time.